Chad, you're more of a quality over quantity type Instagram guy. You ready to check out your feed? Yeah, let's do it. First photo, here you're at a wedding, you and your wife, looking great. This is during the off season. Is it yeah. cool to kind of do this stuff then, since you can't really do it during the season? Yeah, I mean, this is something I feel like uh, takes up our whole off season. It seems like we have weddings almost every weekend. I think we went to five or six this off season, so we uh, stay pretty busy with weddings. So Now, how many do you think that you usually miss during the season? Because obviously, you're busy with baseball. Yeah, quite a few. That's probably more for my friends back home, because all my baseball friends get married in the off season because uh -huh. that's the only time uh, we can get married. So, but yeah, I've missed a few, missed a few throughout the years. You were in a wedding one time, like the actual wedding party, but yeah. could not attend the wedding itself. So, were your boys kind of like yeah. hitting around with you, making like yeah. cardboard cutouts of your face? I don't know if they went that far, but yeah, that's that's happened a few times. So, I, and it's gonna happen again this year. I think later on, where one of my friends from back home is getting married, can't be there, but. Um, they're in spirit for sure. That's the life <laughs> of the baseball player, man, right? Yeah, just part of it, I guess. Next one. Now this is your entire family. Yeah. So you got the beautiful dog also. That's a golden doodle, many golden doodle. He pretty much runs our life right now. So yeah, we're just a small family, but yeah, he's, he's great. And you're starting with a cute dog. Yeah, I mean, gotta start somewhere. So he's been great so far. So we'll see what happens. And he was looking cute. Oh yeah. Right there, and as a puppy too. Puppy, like, how could you not say yes? I know, right? If your wife asked you, hey, can we get this dog? Well, I was all on board. I was trying to convince her, but she obviously fell in love with him the first time she saw him. And she was around him for the first couple of weeks when I was still playing. So, I mean, he likes her a little bit more, but that's a whole other story. So. <laughs> so when you go home, since she's with him for like the most part, yeah. since you're at the baseball field a yeah. lot, if there is a couch and she's sitting on one side and you're sitting on the other, who is he going to? Oh, he's going to her pretty much every time. He follows her around everywhere she goes. Maybe if we get another dog, we'll try to work on him liking me a little bit more. But yeah, for now, he's he's all about her. So. Next photo, Greeny. So this was the nickname that you used yeah. on the back of your jersey for yeah. Players Weekend. Yeah. Both years so far. Yeah. Is that your go-to nickname? That's what everybody calls me around here. I think it's just the easiest, simple name. So nothing, obviously nothing too crazy. I don't have any like one crazy nickname or, or something like that, so. What were some of the other ones like growing up? I didn't really have any people. Greeny is the easiest thing to call me, I guess. So it, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, didn't really, I, yeah, I mean. I, we might have to come up with I a new know, one. we got, we're gonna have to think of something. Something a little sure. bit more original, I know, right? right? I know, right? Sure we will. Also during Players Weekend, the first year, you had awesome green cleats, yeah. which was great. And then this past year, you used the Louisville Cardinal ones because yeah. that's where you went to college. Yeah. But these were cool. Yeah, I mean, I got to rep the school a little bit, I guess. I mean, the, the coach was great, uh, sent me a few pair of cleats, and yeah, that's something that I might do every year now. Also, I'm proud that I went there. It was a pretty easy choice. Were all your boys who used to play baseball with back then yeah. being like, oh, could I get a pair of those? Or like, you want to send me some? Yeah, right. Yeah, I got a few comments on them and stuff, so that was good. I mean catching people's eye. I didn't get a chance to wear the white ones during the game, mm -hmm. but uh, maybe if we were home during Players Weekend last year, that might have done that, but the black and red kind of stood out, so. So are the white ones in the man cave right now or in the home yeah. office or where are those they're, ones? Uh, they're just, I think they're sitting in the garage right now, so we got we to find a place for them. Nice, there you go. You got a bat. I did. One time in the mail. Have you used this bat? So never used the bat. Mm -hmm. So I only have four at bats I'm in the big leagues and struck out all four times. I don't think it would have mattered anyways, but yeah, that was just something where they approached me and was like, hey, do you, do you want a bat just in case for the future? And I was like, yeah, I mean, uh -huh. anytime I get a bat with my name on it, why not, you know? So is this the one that you swung with? I never even swung that in a game or batting practice or anything. Whose bat did you use when you did bat? Oh, man. And was it funny being on the other side yeah. of a strikeout because usually yeah. you're, the, you're the dude striking the batter out. I think I just used, I'm not sure whose bat I used, it was a couple years ago, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> definitely getting in the box, I'm like, man, hitting way harder than pitching is what, <laughs> <laughs> what, what it seems like, so definitely pretty tough. I should probably stick to pitching, I think. So I'm imagining that this is probably next to the white Louisville. Please I don't even it. have that. I don't even oh, know, wow. I don't even know where it's at. Wow, so somebody's using Somebody, it. it's somewhere, I don't know. Somebody's got it somewhere, <laughs> I don't know. And here's the final photo. This is at the One World Observatory. This looks like it's pretty special and definitely a unique yeah. view of the city for sure. Me and my wife got a chance to do a lot of the touristy stuff in New York City, which was awesome. But yeah, a couple years ago, Yankees took a lot of the younger guys and our wives like on a tour of the One World Trade and 
it was great. So we got to see a little bit of like how it was built, the history of it, stuff like that. And yeah, the tour was great just to see different parts of the city from that angle. You were born in South Carolina and you grew up in Illinois. Illinois. Yeah. I'm sure you're used to seeing Chicago as a city, yeah. but New York, I mean. I mean, it's just, there's no place like it. Yeah, we've tried to kind of explore a little bit, try to see different parts of it and it's been great so far. Out of all these Instagram posts, what would you say is your favorite part about Instagram? I think just keeping up on people. I mean, people that not necessarily you see every day. For me, I'm not somebody who's going to post a ton, but probably need to step my game up a little bit, put a little bit more content out there. But Your quality, though, <laughs> your quality. But yeah, I think I just like checking in on people. So can we expect more posts from you, whether it's stories or something on your feed? Yeah, for sure. My wife's always getting on me about, oh, I never post when we do stuff. So yeah, I'll try to get better. Time for the plug. Why should somebody follow you and what can they expect? Just probably a lot of pictures of my dog. Of, I mean, we travel a lot, so a lot of cool cities and um, maybe some cool restaurants, stuff like that. <laughs>